Hi, welcome back. Certainly glad you could join us. Son of a gun, it's hard to believe that we're already at the 12th day of the 12 days of delight. I thought today we could do a little project that is just has a lot of color in it, something that'll make you feel so good inside. I think you'll enjoy it. So it's something so simple that even if you've never done any sort of art before, you can do this one guaranteed. If you have children in your house, they might like to do it with you, but it's fun for adults too. So let me show you what I've got here. This is a happy little house. This is a cutout of a house. And you might remember that our shelter in place logo is of a happy little house. So today we're going to make our own little happy shelter in place house. And this is a very individual project. You don't have to do any specific colors. You can see I have a lot of different colors here. I have metallic markers, colored pencils, super tips. You could even use crayons or paints if you want to. But this is really about what do you want to bring to this? What do you want to have in this little happy house that can be your colors? And it's really just about taking the idea, you know, the idea is there and then we just go with it. So I've got this nice little cutout of a house and I thought we could make our own little shelter in place house. And I'm going to use my colors that remind me of my house in California, but you can use whatever colors you want. So, and with that, let's take off. We'll have super time. I'm just going to color in my house in California is kind of a terracotta orange color. You can see with these big super tip brushes, I can just make big strokes and it doesn't take any time at all. Maybe you want to have your, your house be a color that is just like your actual house, or maybe you want to do the color of the house that you always wanted, but maybe your neighbors wouldn't like it if you painted it such a bright color. This is where you can really take out all of your frustrations and anger. Just go ahead and paint that little house, color that little house, use a marker, whatever you're using. I think my house, I'm going to give it a green roof. I don't have a roof, uh, a roof like this in my house in California. I have a flat roof, but this roof will be a nice, green roof, nice little triangular shape there. Makes me really happy to see this green color that this is my, I have a little backyard writing studio in uh, California that is just about this green color. It's nice, soothing color of green. All right. Now, this is where you can really go crazy. So we've jumped ahead in our, our little painting here our picture a little bit. You can see I did a green roof on the front and the back of the house. I was inspired by the Shelter in Place Season 2 logo to do our colors there. You can see that nice pink and purple and kind of lavender and orange makes me think of spring flowers or a sunset sky. Uh, so this is where maybe you want to do some patterns or a little texture. This is where you just Take out all of your frustrations and hostilities and have a good time. If you're just joining us for the first time, you know, we don't give you, we don't tell you what to do. We just give you techniques to do it. We just have an idea in our mind and we let it happen. If you see these sort of things, then uh, you can see how to make your little house special and right just for you. So I, I think, let's go crazy. I'm, I'm going to put a little swirly pattern on the front of my house with this nice, gold marker. These are really a lot of fun. Maybe you want to get some of these too, but you could do it with any color that you like. All right, so uh, let's, let's get crazy here. How about we give our house some people and a few little pets? So you can see I left this back of the house open. I decided for my house I want to draw some people inside. So I'm just, you don't have to do anything fancy here. You can just do some stick figures. I'm, let's get crazy. I'm going to draw my family right here. So we'll just do a little, make them smiling, having a real good time. It doesn't have to be anything super fancy here. You can just do this however you'd like. So I've got my curly hair there. You can see I'm really liking this current hairstyle that I have. And we'll do Gabe. 
Grace, and Mateo. So you can see I, I drew my happy little family here. And I'm just imagining that I can see in through the back wall of my house. You could color, you don't have to do it this way. You could color it a different color. Maybe you want to color it the same color, or maybe you get crazy like me and do your family. Shoot, let's get really crazy here. Let's do a pet. You can see here that I decided to add, uh, I, thought of, I thought I'd have my family be right on the outside of the house so we could have a little more color there, just for fun. And you know, let's get crazy. How about a pet? Why not add a pet? We don't have a pet, but I always wanted a pet, uh, a pet wombat. So when I was young, I used to draw pictures of these wombats. And this is the joy of the stick figures is that you, they, they can be so simple and they're still a lot of fun. So I'll teach you how to draw it. So you start out just by this very simple oval. Now you draw two happy little ears, two happy little eyes, some little legs, and let's give it a happy little smile. Make that a happy wombat. See, there's nothing to it. And this is really the fun of this, is you can make whatever kind of pet you want. I made a wombat, you might wanna make a dog or a cat or a horse. All right. Ah, shoot, let's get crazy. Let's, let's give this house a colored door. I always wanted to paint a colored door on my own house. So maybe why don't we make this door, let's make it blue. Maybe some sort of that uh, midnight blue that we had in Shelter in Place season one. Some of you might remember that. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice dark blue door. Looks really nice against the orange. You can see with these big, big tipped brush, takes no time at all. I think I'll give it a little gold doorknob to match my gold pattern there. Hot dog, that's looking nice. All right, now for the fun part. We're gonna cut out our happy little house so that we can put it together. This is what we've been waiting for and it takes no time at all. I've got these nice little scissors, but if you don't have that around, no problem. If you have cooking shears in your kitchen, that works great as well. All right, now then let's, let's cut out our shape. Are you ready to have some fun? All right. Just cut right along the black line. We don't want to cut along the dotted line. That'll be where we fold. We'll just stay right along those, those solid lines. You don't have to be exact with this because these will all be folded inside anyway, but it, it helps to cut right along the solid line. These scissors are actually a little small for my hands. They're made for children, but they still work. It's still a lot of fun. You can see I colored outside the lines a little bit with that one. That's all right, I'll just cut it right off. That's really the joy of this is you don't have to get it perfect. It's a lot of fun to do it to just put the bright colors on and see your house really come to life. Just follow the lines. Oh, and you can see I cut a little too far there. That's fine. It's, this, this doesn't have to be so perfect. Just follow the solid lines. Just so simple. See, I just cut that part right out there that where I colored outside the lines. A lot of people think that you have to go to school half your life to be an artist, but you know, this is proof that anyone can do this. Make really beautiful art. Okay, now the fun part. This is what we've all been waiting for. We're going to, you see these folded, these dotted lines here. We're gonna just make little folds, little creases right over each of these. Now for this next part, you are going to need some tape or some glue. I didn't have any glue, so we're using some tape. It'll work just fine. Glue is probably a little easier, but Sometimes we like to use tape. I'm just gonna fold right at that dotted line, just going all the way down, all the way around. Really nothing to this at all. Doing this all the way around. And sometimes you might need to look at the front. Oh, see, I missed the spot there. So we just fold that back like so. 
All right, we're getting there. This is the really exciting part. Oh, and I, I should, I even missed this part myself, but you can see there's a solid line right there and right there. Oh, and right there. You're gonna need that to, to really build your house and have it stand up. So now we're taking these edges. This will be the inside structure of the house. Give it a little something to make it stand up. Just brings me so much joy to just see this beautiful little thing come together. Just this happy little house. Now, this part you can see, we're gonna need to fold the edges of the house itself too. I did a really nice job having all of this be such bright, happy colors. It really just makes you feel good inside, doesn't it, to look at it? See our cute little wombat? He's out on the side. They don't let him in the house. We don't. Maybe you let yours in the house. It's up to you. You, you can do what you want with your pet. And you can see here, I've got, just bringing it all together. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and secure it on the inside right now, one at a time. So just like so. And side one. You could do it the sides first and then the back or go around in a circle. It doesn't really matter. This is really either way will get secured. This is kind of a nice little origami project that really even, even most children could do this. I think my kids would really like this one. Maybe we'll make one of these for them later today. All right, last side of the house coming together. And again, you don't have to, cook to do it on the inside, but I'm gonna just use my teeth for that one. I'm gonna go ahead, secure it to the flap. See how I've got that there? And then that makes my life a little bit easier to just put that together right there, like so. Once again, I'll do the same thing with this flap. It gets a little harder to work with, you know, if you if you don't have very, very small hands, you might want to put the tape on first and then do it. So now we've got, oh, and son of a gun. I just realized these are parts of the roof. So if you want, you might even want to color that. You could do it after you put the house together though. No reason not to. That's the nice thing about this project is there's a lot of different ways to do it. And it's really just about what you want to bring to it. All right, for the final couple of pieces here, it's a little tricky, but I'm going to actually keep my tape on the outside for this one. All right, one more piece just to secure this. And I think since I've got some nice Sharpies here that will color right over paint, I'm gonna just give this a nice little gold, kind of coppery roof. I really enjoy these metallic markers. They're quite a lot of fun. By the way, we'll have flashing over the screen colors you might want to consider using for your house, but you can use whatever colors you want. Give mind a little bit of texture on the roof. I'm not sure what would be made out of this gold color in real life, but I like it on my little shelter-in-place house. And with that, you can see we have a happy little house. You can see I colored the windows here. I even tried to recreate a little bit of that shelter in place season two logo on the window. And you can do the same if you want. And with that, my friends, all of us at shelter in place would like to wish you a happy new year.